Hi, starlings. <clears throat> How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I'm trying to find ways to like make it less awkward for me because I don't know. I'm so awkward when it comes to like filming and whatnot. Um, my goal is to not be so awkward when I do live streams. We'll see. Anyways, <laughs> how are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, let's see, I think today's topic is cosplay and convention etiquette. Before we even get started, I know. I know. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not wearing any lipstick. I know. The thing is, I don't want to talk about it too much, but the thing is, I wore said black lipstick for my black cat shoot and then it went poof. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. I know. I know. Tragic. Um, I'm probably gonna buy more because that's what always happens. I lose things and then I buy replacements and then I find the original. Love that. Um, <laughs> I know, I think it, honestly, I think it's in my boyfriend's truck. I think that's where it is. In his center console, <laughs> actually, I think that I think that's exactly where it is. Um, anyways, he's at work right now, so can't exactly go out to the truck and get it. But we're gonna move on. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, okay, all right. Anyways, so this topic, uh, cosplay convention etiquette, I actually started filming last year, um, but like it more so turned into like a complete rant. Yeah, it was more so like a, com a complete rant and I don't want it to come off that way and like I have been struggling with trying to find a way to film this video without A, it coming off as a rant or B, it's sounding like I'm just scolding a bunch of teenagers even though that's kind of what's going on. So basically what, what got me into this idea for a video is last year and it's it's still kind of going on as conventions open up, but it's not as bad. But last year, uh, as conventions were starting to open up, we um, there were issues with young cosplayers, like new cosplayers, um, coming into the con scene and not even just not knowing how to act, just acting pretty awful. Uh, they would cause problems at the convention. The most common one was the... Uh, they would be under 18 and they would try to enter the con rave. And um, so usually most conventions have two raves, one for 18 plus, one for 18 minus, <laughs> below 18. Uh, and some cons don't, but regardless, the 18 plus raves always, always, always require an ID to show your age because it's 18 plus for a reason. Um, not that necessarily anything bad happens. Uh, there's not like, it's not like everyone like gets together and um, you know does adult things. It's just it's more so um, people tend to dress different for 18 plus raves. You know there are a lot of people walking around in uh, nipple pasties and you know panties kind of a deal. Like it just they just dress a little bit more uh, adult like and a lot of people aren't really comfortable with their children seeing that kind of stuff. There is also sometimes alcohol involved. The rave never sells any. It's just people bring alcohol and it's just, it's not an environment safe. No, not really safe. It's not unsafe. Raves are not unsafe. It's just not really an environment where 12 year olds should be. That's why we, that's why most cons have the um, below 18 raves. So you can still enjoy the rave, but with, that, with it being appropriate for your age. Now, that's basically what the issue was. They would, they would go to these raves and when the bouncer would ask for their ID, they would throw a holy fit. Um, they would just, they would just be really awful. Uh, they would say awful things to the bouncer, you know, say, oh, we're gonna sue you, stuff. Like, it was just a lot of stuff. And it's just, I know this generation talks about how the older generations have a lot of entitlement once we get into the topic of Karens and customer service. However, this, the younger generations tend, like, they tend to have a lot of entitlement too, in a sense of, you can't stop me from doing this, and I will do whatever I want, or, 
oh, you're not letting me do this. Well, I'm going to blast you on social media and I'm going to get you canceled. And like, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> and I don't know, like, it's heartbreaking to see the cosplay community be involved with such toxicity, no matter what your age is and no matter how long you've been cosplaying. It's just sad to see. Um, so basically, even without that being said, there's a lot of stuff that I feel like people should really understand when it comes to going to conventions. And like my basic rules, look where you're walking. I know that sounds pretty basic, but when you're in a convention, like I'm one of those people, I always look at the ground when I walk just because I be tripping, okay? I'm clumsy, I be tripping all the time, okay? So I'm, I always look at the ground when I walk, but even when I'm in a convention, even myself, I tend to look around more, obviously, because you're in a convention, you wanna see the convention and the cosplayers and the vendor hall and this and that. But please be keep in mind that a lot of cosplayers have long capes, trains on their dresses or skirts, you know, stuff like that. And like, it's not really fair to us that we should have to bustle it up or hold it on our arms just prevent people from stepping on them because they don't care to look, you know? And with it being a convention and, you know, people being there, it sometimes does get crowded, but there are also times where I'm in like, for example, I'm in the vendor hall. It's not crowded at all. You know, there's not really many people in there and I still get people stepping on my train, even trains that aren't even though well, I've had a, I wore a blue dress to die show once. Um, and the train wasn't very long at all, I think. Like, here's my feet. I think the train maybe came out, like, this much. That's not a whole lot of space. Um, and I still had people stepping on it, and I would turn around, and there would be, like, nobody around us. So it's like, you don't need to be that close, you know? And just common courtesy and, and respect. Common decency kind of a deal, you know? Treat people at the convention that you would want to be treated. The golden rule. Come on. Treat people how you would want to be treated. Let's go. This is stuff we learned in, like, what, second grade? Come on now. Um, just stuff like that. Watch where you're walking, you know, have some respect, have some common decency so that way you don't step on people or their trains or their capes or, you know, whatever. Um, if you are one of those people that you have a big prop that's sticking out or like wings or whatever, please bear in mind when you're turning around. The amount of people that get whacked by wings has been kind of a lot. So just a bunch of stuff like that, you know. And like, I know a lot of people, especially the younger generation, sorry, I crack my wrists a lot. That's why I am going like that. Um, anyways, I know a lot of people, people, especially the younger generations, tend to think of conventions as a getaway, um, as like a vacation of sorts. You know, they can, they can go and they can be themselves and they can have all this fun, which absolutely yes. However, they also tend to think of it as there are no rules. And I'm sorry, but there are. There have to be in order to keep people safe and to keep people wanting to come back because Let's face it, if you were to go to a convention and everyone was rude and nobody cared, you know, even the staff was super rude, would you want to come back? No. Of course not. So it's just, we try, try to keep the con space safe, okay? <laughs> try to keep it fun for everybody. Otherwise, we won't have them anymore. And I know that kind of sounds dramatic, but think of how many, think of how many things that people have had and someone ruins it for, you know, everybody and then poof, it's gone bye-bye, you know? And it's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm still trying to think of best ways to put things that way it doesn't come off awful, but it's just, so yeah, watch where you're walking, um, you know, even without the pandemic, keep a reasonable space between you. <sighs> Sorry keep a reasonable amount of space between you and the next person. Um, especially since if you're walking and you're walking behind someone, you don't know if they're gonna stop to look at something and then boom, you just ran into them. And if they have a prop on their back or wings or something, or like a, a, sword, like a, a foam sword or something, or any kind of prop, you could break that. Or if you bump into something and they have it hooked onto their back and it falls off and it breaks, you just broke their prop and what if they were trying to compete later and now their prop is broken so it's just think about others other than yourself okay it really shouldn't be that hard but apparently it is oh let's see so yeah we have everything i covered um 
that's really about it. Like, expect that you will need your ID, even if you are over 18. If you are over 18, you don't have your ID, you can't get into the rave, or uh, I know Daisho Khan, rest in peace. Daisho Khan and Colossal Khan and other cons that take place like in hotels or water park resorts that play places that have like water parks. There's usually a 21 plus swim up um, bar or a hot tub or whatever. Yes, you will be required to show your ID for that as well because alcohol and if it's a swim up bar or a 21 plus hot tub, there are other adults there. So even if you are of age, you need to have your ID on you. And if you don't, I'm sorry, but you're not getting in. I mean, it's just, it's the same as it is out in the real world. You have to have these things to, you know, show that you're of age. Otherwise, if the bouncer is like, oh, okay, yeah, you look 18 and they let you in, it turns out you're 16 and something happens to you, that person is responsible for whatever happened, you know, and they can be sued, they can be fired, they can be all these, sorry, there's, there's a hair somewhere and I don't know where it is, but anyways, I shed like crazy. Anyways, so yeah, it's just, the world doesn't revolve around you, okay? And you need to respect other people and their boundaries. <sighs> Moving on. Okay, now here's a big one. Cosplay not is not consent. That one should be obvious at this point. Come on. But it's not even just in case of touching without consent. It's also taking pictures without consent. You need to stop and say, hey, may I please have a picture with you? Because maybe they're in a bad mood. Maybe they're really hungry and they just want to go and get some food. Or they're not in the mood to have pictures taken. Or they're in a hurry and they're like late for a panel and they don't have time to stop and take a picture. And you grab them and you stop them and you have someone take a picture, that is extremely rude, okay? I know it may not seem as such, but it is. You need to say, hey, I love your cosplay, I love your outfit, may I please have a picture? You know? And if they say no, you need to respect that. Or if they say, I would love to get a picture with you, but I am late. Or I would love to get a picture with you, but I haven't eaten all day. I haven't hydrated all day. Can you please come with me? Or can you meet me at this location? I will be back within 30 minutes or something. You know, be able to respect that as well. Um, and again, as I just touched on, but I feel like I should dive more into this. Don't touch people without their consent. I know sometimes it's hard. Like you see something shiny, you want, you just want to like go, oh wow, that's really pretty. Like, let me touch this. Don't. <laughs> Especially since we don't know the condition, you know, this necklace, if you touch it and grab Hi. If you touch it and grab it, it may break. This one won't. But you don't know, you know? And it's just, it's just, again, back to the whole common decency thing. Have some respect for people and their boundaries and their cosplays and their props. Don't just grab, wow, this is so pretty. No, don't do that. That's a no-no. Big no-no. Don't do that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> just don't. <laughs> And again, like sometimes, even for me, I've been going to conventions for, I've been cosplaying for right around five years, and sometimes it's even hard for me. I, I want to just go, oh wow, but I don't, you know? I think twice about it, I'm like, wait, don't do that. Or, hey, I want to just be like, wow, hug, but don't ask for hugs, you know? Ask if it's okay to get a hug. Some people aren't comfortable with hugs. Even outside of conventions, some people are, are, are not comfortable getting hugs from even their own family. Not everyone is in that comfort zone, okay? And so it's just a lot of respect. You don't want to make someone uncomfortable. You don't want to make someone have an anxiety attack. You know, it's you want to be the reason someone breaks down and it, it's a lot. It, there's there's a lot, it, conventions can be very overwhelming. Um, there's a lot to see, a lot to hear because everybody's talking, so it, they tend to be pretty loud. Uh, there's a lot to see, there's a lot to hear, there's a lot to take in, you know, there's always food because there's always food vendors and drink vendors. Um, and that's another thing. There was, I, I had seen a, a cosplayer respond to this on TikTok. I never saw the original video, but they were stitching a video um, where this girl was at a convention and she was trying to buy food and she was very angry that the food cost money. Of course it costs money. You have to buy these things. So always plan to have money for food water or any drinks, whatever, um, stuff to buy at the vendor hall, and yes, I have seen children, and I'm sorry, I will say children because they're always in that sweet spot of 10 to 15, okay? I'm, I have seen children throw fits because they don't have money to buy things at the vendor hall and they think they're entitled to just get that because they paid money to get into the convention. That's not how this works. <laughs> 
You have to have separate money. You have to have money to get into the convention. You have to have money to get food or bring your own. I always like I always have a big bag with me. I always have snacks. Like I personally typically carry uh, meal replacement shakes, um, those meal bars like the Special K meal bar type things, stuff like that. Granola bars are really good. You know, you're allowed to bring these things in as long as you're careful about where you eat them. And that's another thing. Be careful about where you're eating your food. If you are just like, if you have like a, a sandwich in your hand and you're just like walking around eating a sandwich, sure that's fine. But if you drip on like, if you drip jelly or something on someone's cosplay, that's a big no-no. Okay, so just be mindful of where you are, what's around you, who's around you, and just, again, be respectful of people and their boundaries. I have to adjust these straps, they're a bit big. Anyways, just, that's really like the biggest thing. Be respectful, and then that big rule right there can be broken down into like six different topics. <laughs> okay, and it's it's a lot of stuff like that. There's probably a lot of stuff that I'm missing because, of course, I can't think of it right now. This is why I write things down, but I didn't. Um, I think that's about it. I know there's a, so many more topics, but. I'm not the only cosplayer that has done a video on this topic, and I'm not the- I will not be the last. There will be many others after that. I will probably link some down in my description just so you can get more idea, because, again, I'm probably missing a lot of serious topics, but I probably touched on a lot of serious and really important ones too, so... I'll link a few down below. Uh, feel free to check them out, and if you watch the whole thing, I hope that you learn some things. And again, I know so much of this seems so basic and obvious, but when you're in the moment, when you're at the convention, you tend to not really think of these things, so just please think of them. <laughs> please think of them. As a cosplayer who has been on both sides, who has almost forgotten, I never have, but who has almost forgotten not to touch, who has almost forgotten to ask for pictures, who has almost forgotten to ask for hugs, and who has been on the receiving side, who has had someone physically grab me and stop me for pictures, without asking, or as physically had someone grab, just run up to me and hug me without asking, you know, stuff like that. Please, 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 please just stop, think twice, think before you speak, think before you act, and just think, okay? Even if someone is walking by and you're afraid that they're gonna keep walking and they're not gonna see you, stop, think, then approach them and say, hey, you just ran past me, may I please have a picture of me, please, you know, whatever, okay? Just be respectful. Be a decent human being, and everybody can have fun. Okay, sounds good. Excellent, that's how we wanna keep it, okay? Now with that, thank you Starlings for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I, I hope you guys continue to have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.